Hi, I'm Nadine Thornhill, se sexuality educator. I am Nadine Thornhill, sexuality educator. Last week, we had a sex ed pop quiz and it was five questions about like random sex ed facts. So if you didn't get a chance to see that video and you want to take the quiz, just click the I up there. And if you did take the quiz, today we have the answers. So let's dive right in. The first question was true or false ovaries produce testosterone. So testosterone is generally thought of as the testicular sex hormone and estrogen and progesterone are generally thought of as like the ovarian sex hormones. But the ovaries do produce a small amount of testosterone and the testicles do produce uh, small amounts of estrogen and progesterone. Second question was which of these three countries has the lowest teen birth rate? Uh, Canada, South Korea, or Sweden. According to World Bank data from 2016, South Korea has the lowest rate of teen birth, so we're looking at uh, people with uteruses between 15 and 19, at uh, 1.67 births per 1,000 teens. Uh, question number three was G.D. Searle, who was the gynecologist who invented birth control, also invented what other popular product? and your choices were NutraSweet, tampons, or post-its. The answer is NutraSweet, which is also known as aspartame, which was a really popular artificial sweetener for a long, long time. True or false, a person cannot get pregnant before they have their first period. The answer is false. So for most people who do menstruate, their first fertile time was actually two weeks before they got their period, which means that while it is rare, a person can become pregnant before they start having their period. The last question was, Hura is another word for the clitoral hood, the clitoral shaft, or the clitoral legs? And the answer is the clitoral legs. The clitoral legs are um, these two structures that extend down behind the vagina off of the clitoral shaft, kind of like a wishbone. That's it, those are all the answers. Um, in the comments below, let me know if you took the quiz and if you did, how many answers you got right. So that's all for now. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.